Really loads of polystyrene in there. So we've got loads to carve away. It gives me loads of different things, but I want to sort of build it so it goes down into that hide there. And then everything sort of moulds around the trees as well. Yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going to put the rock, probably coming down here with the best cocoa fibre. So right guys, what we come down to now is shaping. Now what we've got here, soldering iron, yeah. So basically what we've got in the day is just try and shape out where we want. Now I've said I'm thinking this front bit, I want like a jet of rock coming down here and then a jet of rock coming down this side. <laughs> and then around the mask inside there is gonna be cocoa fibre. So what I wanna do is try and create that jet of rock and the good thing is these little bits that you pick off you can actually melt in into the gaps to fill in the gaps also what I've got to hand is a hot glue gun and some spare um, polystyrene so you can see there's a few gaps there no, I can just go around and fill those in there, there, while I'm carving out. So we'll come back once it's all carved. All right. Also, what you got to remember when you're doing these builds, yeah, you know, obviously you want the top to go back on, yeah. So what you got to do is you've got to think to yourself, right, leave a gap at the top. Yeah, don't go all the way to the top. Yeah, because once you've added your cocoa fibre or um, rough grout and paint and sealant, that's going to add another couple of few mil on top of that. Yeah, so you've got to make sure now before you get to the point where you've done it all, and then the top going fit back on, and then you're really in trouble because basically you've got to wreck everything you've done to um, just fit the top back on. Also, if you're doing tricky builds like this, now, round all this mask and stuff, around there, round all the sides, everywhere, it's gonna to be tough for me to get in, to get all the sealant and cocoa fiber in. So you've got to try and make it accessible for you to get your hands in there and not make a complete mess so you've got basically room to work so as you're going along make sure you can put your hands all the way around where you need to put your sealant so you don't get any into any trouble fill in the gaps usually i fill these gaps in with expanding foam or something but at the minute because of lockdown it's uh not easy to get out so that's why I'm just filling it all up with polystyrene and then I'll go over it as you can see in the, there all in there that needs all filling up but also there's another trick if you grab a lighter all the bobbly bits yeah if you just go over it quickly with a lighter not so it sits on fire but um, it will just melt the top top layer very slightly and get rid of all the bobbly bits that you can see on the polystyrene now. Obviously, um, this stuff is toxic, so you need to do it either outside like I'm doing it, or in a very well ventilated room. So you don't want to be breathing this stuff in for too long. All right, guys, I think I'm at the point where I've finished carving, so, I've got plenty of peaks and stuff, so I think what I'm going to do is cover it all in grout. As is, if I'm doing a sort of a 
a rock effect. Go along that same route and then paint what I need to paint and then cover the rest with cocoa fiber. I think that's how it's gonna work out, but I've carved out down there for the hide. Actually looks it's bigger than it actually looks. But that goes right the way down. So yeah, made some progress today. But at the minute it just looks messy. You can see I've filled in pretty much all the gaps. The rest can be filled in with sealant and grout. Thank you very much. Right, that is so we've carved out all we need to carve out. Filled up all the gaps. Also masked everything out. This stops um, making a mess all over the mask and wood and everything. So having to clear up a load once you're done. So if you mask it all out takes ages but does stop a lot of clearing up hide that built down there remember i just sealed all down the back of there already and now next is to go out so what we're gonna do because we're done we're doing a mix of the two cocoa -co fiber and rock effect i'm just gonna go out the whole lot and then paint and then decide where I want my cocoa fiber put. So now's the extreme task of grouting and everything, which will take. Also, what I've done here is I've taken all the spikes off the mask to give me more access around the sides, so I can actually get my hand in there. So what we've got to make sure is all around. The sides of their mask is all filled in so no live food can get in there in a minute it just looks a bit like a revenge of the mummy or something but just see a mouse all the floor out all the front glass so if any sealant or anything gets anywhere then they're all okay Alright. Alright guys. Grout in time. Now you might think that's a weird colour grout. What I do is put an acrylic paint into it and mix it. Um usually one that you don't use that much. Then because the grout is white, when you put it onto the polystyrene like styrofoam, you can actually see where you've been so that means that you can um, cover everything more successfully but this is it's just like icing a massive cake really you don't want to miss any bit and you, as you see i've got tons and tons to do that's why i mask everything up because you get bits out and stuff everywhere so until we're all done all right guys as you can see i pretty much got every bit you're gonna need to go over again make sure we've got every bit it's looking awful at the minute but it always does at this stage so the next stage um what we come to is we have got to grout it then we're going to primer start adding paint and the rest of it all right guys we've covered everything so now is to leave it for a couple of days to let it all cure properly you can see from here we've got this line going down to here I'm going to plan to do that in rock effect. It's got a similar sort of line here as well. So this two top bits here, rock effect. And then all down here, all the way down and around the mask. 
or all be cocoa fibre. That's looking cool. It was a mammoth task getting everything covered. Next I'm going to PVA everything just to seal it all before I start adding other bits, paint, etc. Probably about halfway through now. Well guys, thank you very much for watching. Right, next bit will be to add PVA, add paint, add a load of other bits and then start actually bringing it all together. But I'm going to leave this for a couple of days now just to cure off. So it'll take a while just to make sure everything's 100% dry. Um, as usual, thanks for watching. Like, comment down below. Subscribe, ring that bell, bing, 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 bing. cost you nothing, but you get notifications when the next video comes up and really helps me out. Thank you very much. I'll see you.